This video was sponsored by KenHub. More about them at the end of the video. The integumentary system is a mechanical and chemical barrier that protects you from harm, thermoregulates the body, and allows you to sense your surroundings. It consists of the skin, the skin's appendages, which include hair, nails, sweat glands, and sebaceous glands, subcutaneous tissue, deep fascia, mucocutaneous junctions, and breasts. The largest component of the integumentary system, the skin, is also the body's largest organ. And it is important for biochemical synthetic processes such as vitamin D production. Skin helps regulate body temperature by increasing or decreasing blood flow, thus affecting how much heat is lost to surroundings. Sweating also helps you cool off. The skin is made up of the epidermis and the dermis. Deep to superficial, the epidermis is composed of the stratum basal, stratum spinosum, stratum granulosum, stratum lucidum, and stratum corneum. Here's a mnemonic to help you remember. Ellen's so bad, she got legit canceled. The dermis is composed of the papillary and reticular dermis. The skin is a major sensory organ with receptors for touch, pain, and temperature. Mechanoreceptors detect pressure or distortion, nociceptors detect pain, and thermoreceptors detect temperature. There are four major kinds of encapsulated mechanoreceptors specialized to detect touch, pressure, vibration, and cutaneous tension. These are Meissner's corpuscles, which detect changes in texture and slow vibrations, Pacinian corpuscles, which detect deep pressure and fast vibrations, Merkel's discs, which detect sustained touch and pressure, and Ruffini's endings, which detect skin stretch. Thermoreceptors include A-delta fibers as cold receptors and C-fibers as warmth receptors. Pain and itch are detected by A-delta fibers and C-fibers. A-delta fibers send faster and more acute pain signals than C-fibers. Hair is a filament consisting primarily of keratinocytes that grows out of the skin except in a few places. They are used for sensing, thermoregulation, and protection against injury and UV radiation. Hair comes in two flavors. Vellus hair is colloquially known as peach fuzz. Terminal hairs are more pigmented, thicker, and longer. Hair is composed of a follicle and bulb. The hair follicle is the sac containing the hair from which it grows. The hair bulb is the expanded portion of the inferior hair follicle. The nail is made up of the nail plate, the nail matrix from which the nail grows, and the nail bed, which is skin beneath the nail plate. Secretory glands include sebaceous glands and sweat glands. Sebaceous glands cover the entire body and secrete sebum, which is an oily substance that protects your skin from drying out. The two types of sweat glands are eccrine and apocrine. Eccrine are more numerous and cover most of the body. Attached to the deep aspect of the dermis is subcutaneous tissue called the hypodermis. It is composed of adipose tissue, which, apart from storing energy, increases skin mobility, provides insulation, and acts as a shock absorber. The hypodermis is full of subcutaneous nerves, vessels, and lymphatics. In the head and neck, it contains the platysma muscle. Mucocutaneous junctions are regions of the body where there is a transition from mucosa to skin. Mucosa is not a part of the integumentary system. Looking for an anatomy atlas? Look no further than the KenHub Atlas. This atlas features carefully curated illustrations on every anatomy topic, neatly organized and color-coded. And KenHub's atlas is the first anatomy atlas to feature diverse anatomical models, promoting inclusive and equitable learning. This beautifully illustrated, clear and concise book is compact enough to take anywhere. The digital version, with all the same features, is available for Kindle and Apple iBooks. And for an even more comprehensive overview of anatomy, the book features QR codes at the end of each section, seamlessly linking to online resources on KenHub.com to further enhance your learning. Check out the link in the description to purchase it for yourself.